Hi. Hi. Say bye to him. Say hi. He's just gonna sit here on my lap. Hi. Oh, thank you. Oh. Um. What's up? Today was my first day back at work after being sick. <laughs> oh my goodness. You miss me? Oh. <laughs> This past week, I did not what I eat in a week. You guys have no idea how many times I have tried to film a what I ate in a week. Oh my god. You sure a good boy. Yes, you are. I have tried to film a what I ate in a week so many times and I always forget <laughs> uh, like halfway through or I've like missed so many meals that I'm like like filming them that I'm just like why even bother. This week I actually remembered <coughs> excuse me to film most of my meals. So I'm so happy to throw this together for you guys. Um a lot of the footage is on my iPhone so it's not great but it's not terrible. So I mean, let's begin. I do want to say, uh, like two days into this week, I got really sick and a lot of my meals are soups. And I gotta say, I never eat soup. <laughs> let's just go through the week, shall we? So I started filming this last Tuesday. As you can see here, you have no idea what you're looking at, but uh, this is me making breakfast and lunch at the same time I'm multitasking. So that's oatmeal with chia seeds and cinnamon. I just cooked and I added maple syrup and almond butter and then I put that off to the side while I finished making lunch. I made fried rice. So I had some veggies and garlic on the stove top and I added some baked tofu and rice and a bunch of soy sauce. And that is what I had for the next two days for lunch. Good morning. Oh my God, you guys, I started a new job today. What, what is happening? I'm so excited. I'm gonna eat breakfast and get ready for work and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Okay, then I went to work. Uh, it's my first day, as I said. Had some veggie straws. They were just in the kitchen up at the office. This was my view. I'm on the 14th floor. This is the nicest view I've ever had at work. I was very excited about it. Then they have a cereal bar, so I got some cereal and a cup because I was excited about the cereal bar. For dinner, I had a Japanese sweet potato the size of my head with some white beans, some cheddar shreds, you know, some vegan cheddar shreds, and um, a buttload of ketchup, cause go big or go home with the ketchup, you guys, honestly. And that was my dinner. Then the next day, at the exact same breakfast, uh, you'll find that I have this a lot. Basically this is just oats, chia seeds, cinnamon, almond milk, raspberries, maple syrup, and usually almond butter, but I, I think I ran out of almond butter this day. Then for lunch, this is one of the things I forgot to film, but I had some of the fried rice from yesterday. Then I went home early, sick, and I had some soup. It was like a box of soup from Trader Joe's. It was like a curry lentil. It's pretty good. The next morning I made a smoothie bowl, bananas, mixed berries, almond, milk, topped it with granola and coconut. It's delicioso. Then for lunch, I had this. This is all I could make for myself. I'm home alone sick and listen, your girl loves potatoes and avocado. I also put a lot of hot sauce on this because I'm really hoping to clear my sinuses. <laughs> okay, bye. It's just the sweet potato with avocado and the rest of the white beans that were left over from yesterday and hot sauce. Then I got takeout, I got uh, vegan ramen takeout while I watched Netflix in bed because I felt like shit. And guess who loves ramen? Yes, he does. Oh, you guys are a good boy. <laughs> I drowned this in milk, but it's an entire bag of granola. Cause I just want something sweet. Okay, bye. Next morning I made oatmeal. It's pretty much the same. That's what it looks like before I mix it up. <laughs> then I went out and I bought more soup across the street. So that's a red pepper bisque with some toast. Uh, it was really, really good. Delicious. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. Then I got more takeout. <laughs> so I had some, what are those, egg rolls? Well, they're vegan. I got it from a vegan Thai place. So the vegan egg rolls that Beethoven also liked. He loves when I get takeout. And I ordered a whole coconut. Um, I love doing this. I don't know what I'm doing with my face, but I love getting whole coconuts. And he loves it too. 
And then I also also gotten some fried rice with fake chicken, which I ended up only eating like a quarter of because I was full at that point. And look at this, the best part of getting takeout. He's so cute. Um, the next morning, I had run out of raspberry, so I made some avocado toast with everything but the bagel seasoning, and I had the rest of that fried rice for lunch. Then, for like an afternoon snack, I made another smoothie bowl, mixed berries, a banana, almond milk, and some sugar, I think, because I ran out of maple syrup, topped with coconut. Then I had the leftovers of the soup from the day before because I bought a big tin of it, and so I had half of it the day before, half of it on this day, and then I had a little late night snack of some cereal and almond milk. I'm a cereal slut, I love cereal. The next morning, I had more avocado toast. Wow, my hair is so goddamn poofy, oh my god. For lunch, I made some wraps with tortillas, obviously, and veganaise, some tomatoes from my garden, some tofurkey, and the cheddar shreds, the follow your heart cheddar shreds. So that was what my wrap was, and after I ate that one wrap, I was like, that is an absolutely no way enough food. <laughs> so I obviously made the exact same wrap over again for a total of, you guessed it, two wraps, two. Then I made dinner, I made a big thing of dinner because I used the rest of it for lunch the next day. So I, I just made like a Mexican bowl with rice and diced tomatoes, corn and fried up peppers and onions, some black beans. Uh, normally I'd put salsa in here, but I could not get the jar of salsa open. So I just added some spices, some chili lime seasoning, some uh, curry powder, no, that's not curry powder. What is that? Chili powder and salt and pepper. And then I had half of that for dinner. Then I packed half of that for Monday. And I topped it with half an avocado and mixed it all together. That's what it looks like. Very delicious. Obviously, I put a ton of Tabasco sauce on it. I just love Tabasco. And then I bought these little um, vegan, so delicious ice cream sandwiches at the grocery store. So I had one. It was so delicious. That takes us to today. Today is Monday. Uh, I'm obviously feeling a lot better. I started feeling better yesterday, but I feel like I went to work today and I wasn't 100%, but I was like 92%. So that's pretty good. Forgot to film a lot of my food today, so that's why I was like, okay, today I have to call it quits and finish up this video because I'm headed on a day. Once I start forgetting to, to film food, then I just like never remember, you know? So, so yeah, so to, this morning I made oatmeal the exact same oatmeal that you always see with the raspberries. And then I had the leftover Mexican bowl, not leftover, but like the, the portion of the Mexican bowl that I had made for today. I had that for lunch. And I had <clears throat> some of those like nut thin crackers. They had some in the kitchen at work. And a lot of tea. By the way, I was drinking a lot of tea throughout this week. I just didn't film it because I was like, do they need to see every time I make a cup of tea? Not really. I usually just put maple syrup in it. Um, or I drink it straight, depending on the kind of tea it is. Yeah, what else did I eat today? Oh yeah, then I actually filmed my dinner. I had a sandwich. I, I, um, I made a sandwich. <laughs> Words are hard. And then I had a bowl of Cheerios with a banana because, uh, the sandwich just didn't do it for me. I got home from work today and I was really tired, hence the sandwich. I was gonna originally make something a little more involved, but I was too tired. That is what I ate this week. Um, it's a little different in that I was sick. A couple things about being sick and eating. For me, and I don't know if this is like a universal experience or feeling or if this is just me, but like when I'm sick, my taste buds are almost non-existent, especially when my like nose is all clogged up because that your, your nose is like a, a big part of taste. But anyway, so uh, my taste buds were like didn't, which is why I put hot sauce on a lot of stuff. And it's also why I ate a lot of bland things. Also for the first few days of my illness, my throat hurt. So obviously I ate a lot of warm things, a lot of mushy things. Um, like I said, I think earlier, I almost never eat soup, but there's a reason soup is good for when you're sick. Um, I also was not intending to get any takeout and I just saw I got takeout twice because I just had zero energy. When I'm sick, I really, I don't like being sick. I don't think anybody does. And I wanna just focus on conserving my energy and getting better. 
and I know that in order to fight off infection, my body needs rest. When I had my eating disorder and I would get sick a lot, I would like go to go work out and only eat like and not not really eat because I, I would take I would take advantage of the fact that I was sick and couldn't taste a lot of things and wasn't really hungry or craving a lot of things because I was sick um, and I would not eat that much and I would work out and guess what my sickness would keep going and going and it you know it would just linger with me and now I know that that's like the stupidest thing you can be doing your body needs all of the energy it can get to fight off your infection. And I feel like I thought I had a, whatever I had, whatever nasty infection I had, uh, it was bad. But I feel like I fought it off in record time by just like calling in sick to work, trusting my gut, allowing myself to just rest and giving myself lots of food and calories. Even if I wasn't necessarily hungry, I made sure that I ate at least three meals a day every day that I was sick, um, if not more. And um, and I, I was back at work today, which I'm really, really happy about because my boss was like, don't come in if you're sick. I don't want you in the office if you're sick. And I was like, no, I'm confident that I'm okay today. And I was, I got a lot of work done. So I don't really know if that's like helpful for anyone to hear, but just something that I was kind of musing on uh, as I was putting this video together, like, wow, I, um, I've come a long way. <laughs> Let me know if you like this kind of video or don't, doesn't matter. I'm gonna keep making the videos that I like to make. <laughs> um, but I do like you and I hope you like me too. And if you do, wow, all of that rhymed. You can hit the like button. <laughs> And if you're new here, hello, my name is Rachel. This is Ladle by Ladle. Please hit subscribe if you want videos on eating disorder recovery, body positivity, self-love, intuitive eating, and veganism. I make videos every Wednesday and Sunday, and I'd love to have you with me. If you are interested in having a, your specific recovery questions answered, or would like a more personal one-on-one -on -one experience with me, please make sure to check out my Patreon down below. I've already had some wonderful conversations and experiences with some lovely women, and uh, I'd love to have you be one of them. So go check that out. And um, until next time, bye guys.